Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so today is my 500th video, which I really never counted on or thought I would get to. And so I thought I'd just uh, go ahead and put some makeup on and reminisce with you. And so let's go ahead and get started. I did go ahead and um, start off with some of the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip here. And this is a Power Grip, or Power Grip Primer. And um, if you do want to help it slip on a little bit easier, because I know that it it's really sticky, um, I've been using the Glow Oil by Super Goop underneath it. Probably any oil will give it a little bit more slip, so it's a little bit easier to get on your face. Because I had heard that that was one of the problems with it, and I couldn't really figure out why I wasn't having that problem. And I'm pretty sure it's the oil here. So um, yeah, good product that I'm liking. And I went ahead and used the Alpha Woe Glow in Sunbeam as well. So I had these two on as far as my base. And yeah, we're doing ColourPop today because ColourPop has been sort of the basis of a lot of what I've done. Um, so ColourPop, uh, pretty fresh. And this is one of my favorite um, foundations of all time. And then probably my favorite concealer of all time is the Pretty Fresh. So um, this is Warm 53, and I think this one is uh, 7 as far as the concealer. So that's what I have on there. And I just did go ahead and do a little bit of a base. I'm um, going to go ahead and use the NYX Thick It Stick It. And actually, I haven't done an application video in a long time because everybody was sort of moving, or uh, YouTube in general was moving away from tutorials. And there's some people that um, just have been doing it forever and ever. And so I went more to a commentary on um, makeup than actually doing the actual tutorials. And so, yeah, I'm thinking I may do some more of these. And it's just been a little bit a little while since I've done some. And uh, yeah, an unexpected journey, I think, is how I would go ahead and characterize this one using the Aurora Struck palette. This just came back into stock over at ColourPop. And um, yeah, another thing about going ahead and doing YouTube is learning how to be relevant and sort of rolling with it and uh, learned a lot about that from doing this. And let's see, I have the NYX uh, Fat Oil. And this one is in Supermodel. And I've been really enjoying putting that on to, you know, just go ahead and get the lips a little bit moist while I'm doing the makeup. And uh, yeah. So Aurora Struck, this is uh, the palette. And I think this palette has one of the most, I think ColourPop does this shade really well. And this is a uh, silver, and you'll see it in a lot of ColourPop palettes, uh, different versions of it. And it just is always a standout shade to me. So I figured that we go ahead and do a look around it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start with this on the inner corner. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you know the inner corner, I mean all the way from here up to here. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I have some real estate to work with. So I um, and I actually enjoy <laughs> going ahead and playing with um, a whole bigger palette. So um, yeah, there we go. Got some of that on. Um, I think I'm going to go into this green down here. And this one is in orbit. So we'll go ahead and do some of that right in the crease and right above the crease. But 
yeah, it's been an unexpected journey. Um, I came in later. Um, I had actually done some training in TV and film before YouTube was even YouTube. So, and I hadn't been doing a lot with it. So, uh, when I came into YouTube, it was already going really robustly and um, it was actually making the transition at that point from watching YouTube on your computer to going ahead and watching YouTube on your television and in a way I think that's good because it opened it up to more people but I think in a way you kind of lost some of the interactiveness of YouTube because when you're watching it on the television you can't really you know you're not you're not putting comments down because you don't have that available to you so um, I think that's one of the big uh, the big changes that I've seen um, being here and um, yeah now I'm going to go into this silver and it's really a pretty color and very very shiny so um, let's see yeah I also came in right at the time the Dramageddon was going full blast and so in a way, it was just sort of like, oh, and go on from there. Um, I think the reason probably that I'm going ahead and hitting 500 videos right now is the pandemic. Um, at that point, it was just like, well, what can I do? I um, there wasn't a lot to do and it was a way of not getting depressed about stuff and being positive and so I think that was a lot to do with it too and being able to stay busy doing something so um, I'm going to go ahead and use the Sky High Mascara here this one's by Maybelline this one is one in Cosmic Black and let's see here so talking and putting makeup on at the same time has I'm better at it, but I'm, I'm I know there's some people that just do it amazingly, but um, yeah, yeah, a lot better at it. And my makeup faces have gotten a lot less. They used to be like, <laughs> so now they're a lot better. But anyway. Yeah, the pandemic changed a lot, and it really did in the YouTube space, especially the makeup space. We were, we kind of moved, um, or a lot of the channels and a lot of the creators moved to being someplace safe and um, safe and fun and light. A lot of people didn't even address the pandemic. If we did, in a lot of ways, it was just wash your hands, you know, kind of stuff. And um, so some place to get away from all the other stuff that was going on all the time. And let's see. Makeup face. There we go. And, and ColourPop, and ColourPop, and ColourPop, and thank you, ColourPop. So, um, let's see, as far as moving over to blush, again, we're going ColourPop. Um, I have two blushes. I have uh, Just Cruisin' and Flamingo, and these are the newer releases that are over at Target and Ulta and on the ColourPop website. And it seems like ColourPop is going ahead and building a permanent line, and I think a lot of people are happy about that because it's rough when you get you know something like this where you find a shade that you really like but you know that because it's part of a collection it's just going to be gone in about six months so and that's not always the 
truth either because Colourpop does keep a lot of palettes around for a long time, which I really appreciate. Um, they've and they've definitely done some very classic palettes that are just fun to work with no matter whether they're old or young. So again, thank you, thank you, Colourpop. And uh, let's see what else we got here. And then all the technical difficulties that you can go ahead and run into along the way. I just got a message that came up on my view screen. I'm like, what? <laughs> and uh, it's always fun when that happens during a video. Um, or just the basic things like you You'll think that you have your um, microphone all set up and then you'll be, you know, into editing and realize, yeah, it wasn't set up. Why <laughs> stuff uh, or having to do the same video over and over because it's there's something going on or new equipment that just makes you kind of go. Because <laughs> there's always a learning curve to it. So. Yeah, there are a whole bunch of uh, neat things that you get to learn as you're doing this kind of thing. So, um, again, ColourPop, Seismic, one of my all-time favorites. And I'm really grateful, again, to have been doing this. Um, again, during the pandemic, it was just really instrumental to keeping my spirits going and I hope it helped or at least you know gave some other folks the chance to go ahead and maybe get away from uh, get away for a little while again a safe fun a safe fun place there was a time when we were the only new thing on television which was really scary no pressure um, but yeah, we were the, um, and a lot of it is a we kind of thing because there are only so many new makeup releases, not that there isn't a ton of stuff out there because there is, um, but <clears throat> a lot of times we know that we're all doing the same review or we're all looking at the same products. So um, it it becomes sort of a, a group sort of uh, a group review um, so that you can watch a whole bunch of different people all um, having feelings and thoughts about, you know, some product. So um, in a way, uh, it is being a television pioneer. And television has really only been around for what, 70, 80 years. So it's still pretty new. Um, let's see, as far as a powder. Yeah, where did I put that? And um, we can go ahead and use the Glowish powder today as far as the setting powder. Uh, this brush that I was using is one of the BS Malls ones, and it's on um, Amazon. Really nice, really dense brush where you can get, you know, a whole bunch of... You can be really accurate with it. And then as far as this... Um, this one's a Laura Geller brush, which I really um, have been liking. It has... Just it's not as dense and it works really good for powder. And so this is the Glowish and Fair, and this one's by Huda. Getting to experiment with different techniques and seeing how different people work with the different products. And I mean, it's definitely being an individual in the space, but um, being part of a group as well. And uh, yeah, it can get competitive at times, and um, but at other times it can be very relaxing to be able to see somebody else's take on a product that you're 
thinking about, but you're not necessarily, uh, <clears throat> especially with new products, it's, it's very comforting to see other people and what they think about products as well. So um, I think we're just about done with this look. I do have some of the fourth ray, the Glisten Up. This is one of my favorite setting powder, or setting yeah, setting sprays, uh, Glisten Up by Fourth Ray, which is sister company to Coa Pop, and you can get it on the same website. This says Mica, so if you're going for a really glowy look, this will definitely help you get there. Um, let's see. I had a few products. I think I've actually uh, gone ahead and talked about a lot of them. Um, this one, however, is something that I think is revolutionary, and mine is all stained, but uh, Nadine Baggett went ahead and got me into these, the microfiber, where they have uh, a lot of little tiny, it just cleans your face so much better, and they're actually made for cleaning your car or cleaning um, your countertops, but these work wonderful on the face. And if you're out of cleanser and you still want to get clean, these are great. If you have a teenager who doesn't want to commit to <laughs> a cleanser or whatever, these are also great. Um, but they just, they get you a lot cleaner than I think a lot of other things. So um, thank you, Nadine. And um, again, stop, start on this video. I'm just really grateful to have done this. And um, I intend to uh, do it some more. And I am looking forward to making some changes and um, moving, moving through with you. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I mentioned Nadine and um, there are so many and then it got me thinking there are so many people um, Monique and uh, so many people that are really generous and kind and um, yeah I could just list for days um, so uh, yeah it's it's such a new and uh, it just hasn't been done before. So a lot of the time we are just sort of um, making our way through it. But again, just a big thank you. And I hope you have a great day and see you later. Thank you.